Hi there traders, it's Neil here again with Option Theory and we have a cherry bomb for you today on this Tuesday, June 15th, 2021. I hope you're interested in some short deltas today. Some, we're gonna go short the NASDAQ, right? The ETF QQQ, which has a liquidity rank of four drops out of four, as you see right there, and an IV rank of eight, which puts us in the long put vertical territory. And I like me the long put verticals if we're talking about long verticals. I don't know about you. Do you prefer one versus the other? I know it's kind of tough to be uh, bearish on the market, especially when you look at its long term performance and how short it seems that these drops last. But maybe we're about to catch it on a drop. Who knows? Let's take a look, though. Let's hop on in to Thinkorswim and get started. Hi, everybody. I already said who I am, but this is Option Theory, and I'm Neil. Thank you so much for joining us today. And on screen here, you can see the chart for the Qs. We can see that long-term performance for the past 52 weeks. But what I think is interesting uh, is that we're at a high here on this last candle. Um, so that is yesterday's candle. What's us at that upper band, right? And some of these indicators, that's, that is a, you know, indicator that it, you know, we're, we're due for potentially some pullback, maybe. So let's position ourselves to potentially benefit from that pullback, shall we? Let's take a look at the overnight futures, though. We are up one-tenth of a percent in the NASDAQ. Same for the S&Ps. Dow is up almost that much. Russell is basically unchanged. Uh, and so crude is up. Where's gold? Gold is basically unchanged. All right. So that is the overall market. That is also the chart for Qs. Let's take a look at the trade. Let's go over to the Analyze tab, go to Add Simulated Trade. We're gonna be in the June monthlies, which is cool. Did I say June? I meant July. We're looking at this guy right here. July 16th um, is the date that we're looking at. And it says weeklies, which is a little weird. But uh, yeah, there it is. Those aren't weeklies. Okay whatever but anyway let's go ahead and take a look at the at the money area and the put side well there's a lot of strikes now we're going to be buying the 346 which would cost 771 dollars and then we're going to sell the 344 which would we could sell it for 674 dollars and so therefore we've got uh much less risk here as far as how much it would cost us and this will end up costing us a little bit less than a hundred dollars on a two dollar widespread that means we can make more than we could lose which probably means our probabilities will not be super amazing so let's go ahead so now that we know by the way we've got one contract two dollar wide debit of 91 cents let's go ahead and check out the risk profile to see our probabilities then in the top right corner, we're going to set that date to the, be the same date we see in turquoise in the bottom left corner of our risk profile. That's July 17th. Get our expected move so it's near the edges of the screen. And let's set that price slice to break even at expiration. And we're looking at surprisingly a 52% probability of profit at expiration on this one. With Tastyworks giving us a P50 uh, metric, give me a second, of 68% probability of us taking off half of this profit, which we'll call it $55. How does that sound? In the next 31, 30, 31 days? Yes, 31 days. All right. So with that, let's go ahead and set this price slice to chart. There we are. And so that is the line that we want uh, want this to come below. We want, we want NASDAQ to go below that number and stay below that number. That'd be fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that line. This is gonna even visualize that there. All right, so with that, let's go to our confirm and send, review our max profit of 109, max loss of 91. I'm okay with that going into my margin account. I'm gonna go ahead and hit send and put that into my working orders. And this is where I give you, if you've made it this far into my video, a big thumbs up. Thank you so much. I do appreciate when you guys watch these videos to the end. It helps YouTube believe that you enjoy my videos. I hope you guys get something out of this. I've been doing it for over a year. If you do get anything out of this, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. You know, 
Say hi. <laughs> All right. If you're new to this channel and you want to take your learning and options trading from being a passive video watcher to being an, uh, an active trader, but you're not quite ready to spend real dollars or risk real dollars yet, then this is the place for you. You want to go down to that description and you want to sign up for the Tasty Trade Cherry Bomb email list. So you'll get emailed to you four days a week on a normal trading week trade ideas for trade ideas we trade them hopefully together come back when you're done signing up for the cherry bomb email list subscribe to this channel ring that bell so you'll be notified when these videos come out so you can take a look at our analysis of these trades and uh you know you have a place where you can ask questions in the comments and hopefully we'll all get better together thank you so much for joining us and all your views and subscriptions i look forward to seeing you tomorrow and our next cherry bomb until then may the market be with you